In this video, we are going to convert this boring list into a beautiful agenda slide in minutes. Get your list, copy paste it in Word. If it has bullets, get rid of the bullets by going to Home tab. Whether it's bullets or numbering, two clicks will get rid of it. Again in Home tab, Styles, choose Normal or better still, no spacing. Now the next step is to convert it to a table. We want to decide how many rows and how many columns it will have. So go to insert, table, convert text to table. By default, it will be one column. In my case, I have 12 items. So I'm going to choose four columns and Word will automatically calculate the number of rows. Click OK. Table is ready. While table is selected, copy it from here. Now let's go to PowerPoint. PowerPoint blank new presentation. First slide, change the layout to blank and paste the table. We want to customize the table in many ways. We don't want header row, first column, banded rows, just plain simple table. We also want to center the table. So align middle, align center. We want it to occupy more space. So press the control key and drag. Now it's increasing from both sides. So increase the height, increase the width, keep some border around it. Now we want to centralize the text. So go to layout. You want to say center and center. So center vertically, center horizontally, both are done. Increase the font size so that everything is clearly visible. We want some gradient. So go to table design, word art styles, shape options, fill. By default, it will be solid fill. Choose gradient fill. In this case, I'm using one of the existing gradients, but you can choose whatever you like. You can adjust the gradient in such a way that it looks okay. The next step is to get rid of borders. So make sure the table is selected. Click on borders or better still choose no border explicitly. Now click outside. You will notice borders are gone. Select the table again. We need to put numbers now, but we can't put numbers and the text in the same cell. So we need another table superimposed on top of this. So select the table control D to duplicate. Select both of them. Make sure they are overlapping on each other. Align center, align middle. Now we need to understand what are we doing to which table. So go to home tab, editing, select, selection pane. If you have not seen the selection pane video, you must have a look. It has amazing benefits. So this is the table below. There is a table above. To avoid getting confused, I'm going to hide this table. So now select this table. Make sure you click in one of the cells. Control A to select all and then click delete. If you don't do it like this, the entire table will get deleted. So I'm going to show it again. Make sure the first table is hidden. Click on the table above. Click in the first cell. Press Control A to select all cells and now press delete. Now we need numbers. Of course, I'm not going to type them manually. That's why there is Excel. The function to use is sequence. How many rows? Three. How many columns? Four. Starting with number one. Step is optional. By default, it is one. So there you get 12 numbers. Simple, easy, effective. Select the whole thing. Control A would also work. Copy. Now, again, make sure you are in the correct table. Click in the first cell and paste. So you got numbers everywhere. Excellent. Now press escape so that now you have selected the whole table. Go to layout. And here we want the numbers to be align top and align left. So they go to the corner. We want some margin. So it's a cell margin normal. We want it to be visible. So go to home tab, make it some contrasting color and also increase the font size a little. Make them bold if you like. Now, what are we trying to do? We are trying to show the number and the text. Text is in this table, which is hidden. So let's unhide it. But still nothing is seen because this table is overlapping this one. If I hide it, yes, I'll see it, but I don't want to hide it. I want the numbers as well. The trick is to use gradients. We are already using a gradient. So select the correct table. This time keep both of them on, but make sure you select the upper one. Now, how do we change gradients in a table? Well, go to table design, word art, this corner arrow format dialog will come. Now we are not bothered about text right now. Shape. Shape in this case means cells. 
of the table now when you go to gradient it's the same gradient both colors are opaque i want to keep this darker color opaque but this color i want to make fully transparent and see what happens suddenly now whatever is behind is revealed and i don't want it to interfere so just make it like this so this part becomes darker if you want you can make it even dark or you can even choose black color i'll make it even more contrasty so to say in fact i find it easier not to use linear for this one but use radial now this corner is wrong so i open this direction thing and use this corner now it looks nice and you can play with this in fact if you make this also a different color you will get different kinds of effect i am just choosing a contrasting color by default it will become all zero transparency don't get scared increase it and now you will get a tinge of whatever second color you choose and finally to make it even more interesting let's put a video behind this so that there is some dynamic element go to insert pictures stock images under that video and choose any video which is dynamic so choose something where corners are going to be moving this is a bad idea because this is going to be overlap by our table this one for example beautiful so i'm going to select it insert it these are microsoft curated videos no copyright issues they are looped automatically they run automatically they fit the slide automatically the only thing you need to do is right click on it and say send to back and you are good to go so that's how you convert a boring list into a beautiful looking agenda slide that's it for now see you next time